nasal septal deviation or DNS is a common condition in many people. The symptom it largely causes is nasal obstruction. It can also cause nasal bleeding or epistaxis and sometimes certain pain in areas in which the nasal septum is abutting. The treatment for a nasal septal deviation is only surgery. There can be no other treatment for a bone that is bent because no medicine will work to straighten it. The septum is divided into a front portion which is a cartilage which is more malleable and into a more posterior or behind portion which is bony. Bony deviations can come in the form of a spur which is a prominence which can be either in the right or left side. A septal deviation can be a single sided deviation. It can be a S shaped deviation or a C shaped deviation depending upon the pressures on the nasal septum. Quite often one is born with a nasal septal deviation and in some other instances the septum deviates because of minor or major trauma during the time which I was growing up or during adulthood because of some accident or an injury. Accident or trauma or injury trauma causes sudden septal deviation and these are usually tackled in an emergency situation. Septal deviation is treated by surgery under local or general anesthesia. If the deviation is anterior or in front of the nose, only local anesthesia is enough. If the surgery is more behind, then we usually prefer to give general anesthesia. Also for patients who prefer general anesthesia personally. The surgery is done from inside the nose. There is no mark or incision outside. Flaps are raised to open up the nasal septum, the cartilage as well as the bone. The deviated portions are sometimes removed, sometimes thinned and if there is a thickened cartilage, it is sometimes trimmed up so that the septum comes to lie in the midline. After the surgery, either some sutures are applied on the nasal septum or a nasal pack is applied which nowadays is usually a soft pack with an airway inside so that you can continue to breathe through the nose in the post-operative period. A pack is placed for a duration of one or two days and after which it is removed. You will need to visit your ENT specialist two to three times after the surgery so that nasal cleaning can be done and so that you can enjoy the full benefits of the surgery and to prevent complications like synechia or fibrosis formation or addition formation. It is a simple surgery, it is a gratifying surgery and the results are evident usually about two to three weeks after the surgery. As in any other surgery, there will be complications. These are largely either bleeding or infection, but sometimes a nasal septal perforation or a supratip deformity, which is a saddle nose, can be formed. Though nowadays with carefully performed techniques, these complications are not so common, but they are known to happen. And if the case is complicated, particularly in revision cases, complications may occur. You should discuss all this with your surgeon before you give consent for the surgery. Nasal septal surgery is a routinely performed surgery. It is done from inside the nose. It can be done under local or general anesthesia. First operative care is necessary and usually two to three weeks after the surgery, you can enjoy the full benefit of the surgical treatment.